Hi guys, I recently had the air conditioner in one of my rental units overflow the drain pan and uh, cause $500 worth of damage to the ceiling of the apartment below it. Um, today I'm going to be installing a air conditioner drain pan condensate float switch right here. This particular one is called a condensate cop and what this does uh, when the drain pan fills up to a certain level the float switch shuts the air conditioner unit down to let you know that there is an issue that the drain pan is not draining properly all right uh... i'm in a very very hot attic i don't know if you can see this very well uh, it's supposed to be a heat uh, index of 103 today. Feels like it already, although it's not quite that warm yet. Um, what I've done so far is I have removed the access panel, which is just simply, unscre simply unscrewing four screws. Remove the access panel. Um, you're looking for a yellow wire coming off. This is the main power coming into the unit. This is the thermostat wire right here. That's the wire going to the outside unit. Uh, this is your thermostat wire. You're looking for a yellow wire to connect your drain float switch to. Uh, if you do not have a yellow wire, if you see a blue wire accessible, the blue wire will work. Uh, the red wire will work also. The red wire will cut off all power to the unit. So what I'm going to do is cut the red wire and uh, connect the float switch to the red wire which will uh, not prevent the drain pan from filling up but it will shut the air conditioner off if the drain pan fills up and prevent damage to the ceiling below. Okay as you can see here and here I have uh, cut the insulation off of the red wire from the thermostat going to the condenser. Once the red wires are cut and stripped, it's simply a matter of connecting the yellow wire from the float switch to each end of the broken red wire with a wire nut. The wire nuts come with the float switch doesn't matter which one goes to which. One end of this yellow wire goes to one end of the red wire. The other end goes to the other end of the broken red wire. That's all there is to it as far as the wiring. You can see I've switched wire nuts here. The ones they provided were not catching. I don't know why. I brought some other wire nuts with me. I'm going to try to get this to catch. I don't know why the ones supplied with the kit didn't work. Uh, mine are working fine. Now it's simply a matter of connecting the other wire and we're done. I'm trying to show as much of the process as I can. Here's what it looks like when you're done. One end of the yellow wire here is going to the red wire here. The other end of the yellow wire is going to the other end of the cut red wire here. That's all there is to the wiring. And now the switch just screws on to the drain pan and that's all there is as far as the actual hookup. And this is as simple as finger tightening a couple of screws here. with the drain vertical, with the cutoff switch vertical in the pan. 
there is some water in the pan right now, but it's not enough to, to cause the uh, switch to go off. Uh, now all you got to do is reattach the panel and the job is done. When I make these YouTube videos, I try to make them as useful as possible. I try to give as much information as I can so that I can actually help people uh, fix something or solve a problem that they're dealing with. Uh, I'm going to uh, talk about this assuming that you know nothing at all about what a condensate float switch is or why you would need one. When an air conditioner is operating, it uh, takes humidity, moisture out of the air and normally the humidity, the water that is taken out of the air is directed through a drain line and exits somewhere outside the building. Uh, sometimes over time the drain line can become clogged with algae, bacteria, gunk, whatever, uh, and does not drain properly. There is an overflow device in a secondary drain actually in air conditioner units that uh, modern ones, the newer ones, will actually have a secondary drain that will take the humidity, the water outside of the building. The older ones, which I was dealing with here, just have an overflow drain pan underneath the air conditioner unit which accumulates the water. Uh, if the drain is not draining and all of the condensation keeps accumulating in the drain pan, if you live in a very, very humid place, which I do, uh, eventually the drain pan will overflow and cause damage to the ceiling underneath the air conditioner. Uh, the condensate float switch is designed to disconnect power to the air conditioner unit if the drain pan becomes full before the drain pan overflows and causes damage to the ceiling below. That's the purpose of the condensate float switch. If you continually have the problem of the drain pan filling up, the first thing to look at is cleaning out the drain for the pan. Uh, and I have another video about that and I'll put a link to that uh, on the screen where you can click on that and check that out if you need to. If after clearing out the drain line you're still getting the problem of the condensate overflow pan filling up and overflowing, uh, you're probably going to have to call a professional to come out and check out your system and see what's going on, see what's causing the problem. I hope I've answered most of your questions. It's really not that difficult to do it. Just be careful. Make sure you turn the breaker off to the air conditioner before you take the service panel off and go poking around inside there. Uh, as always, if you don't feel comfortable doing it, don't do it. Call a professional. Um, it's going to cost you some money to do this, but uh, it's better than electrocuting yourself. If there's questions that I haven't answered that I can help you with, please uh, leave your questions or comments below in the comment section. Um, I hope this was helpful. Uh, this is something you can do yourself and it can prevent a lot of damage to your ceilings. Thanks guys.